Thank you to the Boston Police Gala Column, Column Bagpipers. Good afternoon. My name is Pat Cahill Hoban, a member of the Mass 9-11 Family Advisory Committee. It is my privilege to have the Honorable Martin J. Walsh, Mayor of Boston, to preside over this wreath-laying ceremony. I am also pleased to welcome the Honorable Charles Baker, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and Mrs. Baker, the Commissioner William G. Ross, Boston Police Department, my dear family members that are here with me, and all of you family members, friends, and the public to the Garden of Remembrance 9-11 Memorial. This was the first monument, monument erected in the Boston Public Garden in over 80 years when it was dedicated in July 2004. Thanks to the efforts of the Mass 9-11 Fund, over 50 families input, the late Thomas Menino, Friends of the Public Garden, the September 11, 2001 Memorial Endowment Project, and a grant from the United States Department of Agriculture Living Memorial Project. The tree to the left of the memorial is our survivor tree, grown from a cutting of the survivor tree at Ground Zero. To, so to start this ceremony, I am pleased to invite Father John J. Conley, Boston Police Chaplain, to offer a prayer. Father Conley. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we come together this afternoon in this historic public garden and in this garden of remembrance as we commemorate the terrible events of 17 years ago. We come before you, Lord, with hearts filled with sorrow and pain for those who lost their lives that day, but also that hearts, with hearts that have been soothed by the way we as a people, we as a commonwealth, we as a nation and a city have responded to those events. Lord, in these days when people seem to lose faith in both civic and faith institutions, when the civil discourse is not nearly as civil as it should be, help us through our commemoration of the events of 17 years ago to remember that we are never stronger than when we are together that we can do more things and do them better together than we can ever do apart. As we remember those whose lives were lost that day, Lord, in this ceremony we remember in a particular way the men and women who were the first responders in New York, in D.C., in Pennsylvania, and the men and women who serve our nation at home and abroad to serve, protect, and defend us each and every day in the years since and in this present moment. As we pray today, Lord, we offer a special prayer for those men and women from the Massachusetts emergency response team that is traveling now to go towards the folks affected by Hurricane Florence. Lord, we ask you to continue to bless our nation, to bless all of us as we honor the memories of those who have gone before us, to help us remember that it is in you that we find our strength, and that the strength you give us is meant to be shared so that we might grow to be one strong people, a people united in love of liberty and of peace, who seek to be men and women who protect freedom by sharing its values, not only here at home, but throughout the world. Bless us this day, dear Lord. Help us always to remember, never to forget, and to honor the memory of those who have gone before. And conscious of the way all of you pray, I pray, Lord, that you will bless us this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Conley. Now, the Honorable Martin J. Walsh, Mayor of Boston. Thank you very much, and I want to thank you, Pat Cahill Hoban, for emceeing us today, and to all the 9-11 fun families. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, Father Conley, uh, as always, thank you for your prayers today. I'd also like to just to recognize uh, from our public safety, uh, Commissioner Gross from the Boston Police Department already been mentioned. Uh, Commissioner Joe Finn from the Boston Fire Department is here as well with us as well as Chief Green from the MBTA Police. Uh, thank you to all our first responders who keep us safe every single day. To everyone who lost somebody they love on that, on that September 11, 2001, 17 years ago, I want to say thank you for sharing this sacred day with all of us. Pat mentioned the, the sibling tree. Um, 
it's actually it's right there to the left of us. It's when we grew it. It was about, when we planted it three years ago, I believe. It was about two feet high, uh, and and it's it's come it's booming over our public gardens. In a couple more years, will be so. That's our that's our sibling tree, and in front of it, uh, it signifies a plaque that we planted the day that we planted it. The scriptures tell us that we are all children of the light. We don't we do not belong to the darkness. That's what we are here to remember today. With this community of survivors as our beacon, we remember those precious lives that we lost 17 years ago. We're here to remember the light they brought into this world. We're here to make sure that their stories live on, that they continue and we continue to honor them in the way we live, in the way we love, in the way how we treat each other. Today, all over our city and all over our country and all over the world, we see incredible acts of kindness. We see profound acts of love. It's a national day of service. The goodness of mankind is a light that can never be put out. So as we lay the wreath with you today, we, res we resolve to honor this example that you, the families, have given us and shown us. We resolve to stand united as a community with all the families here today and that couldn't be here today. I want to thank you all, and I want to say God bless all of you that are here today. Now I'd like to ask the Bavis family to join me and the governor in laying the wreath Mark Davis was on flight 175 when we lost him. We're joined today by, I'm going to just name the girls, Mary, Kathleen, and Mary Ellen. And I know the boys are here as well, and there's, there's nieces and nephews and everybody here. So I want to uh, ask the Davis family to, to lay the wreath. Now I would like you to join me in a moment of silence. Thank you for your respect, and let me introduce Officer Kim Tavares and Officer Stephen McNulty, the Boston Police Department's singing duo who will sing God Bless America. Oh, Mary. 